and then the third lie. That's the best one. You know, in Arabic they say, Wallahi. Wallahi means, I swear. He lie. This is the actual fuel consumption. Look at this. Guess what you're looking at. This is the Jimny. And only one of those bags is, are mine. Are you a Harley Davidson? With that horns? And only one spoke countless stars and blaze. And only one. And this is called a stop and go here in South Africa. Aha, there's the blue Jimny here in the Karoo. And this is all the vehicles. Hi guys, how are you? I'm, I'm with my good people here. Yeah. We're trying to have a lot of fun and I love them so much. So hi. Hey guys. And he's talking a lot. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm very nice at talking, that's why they love me so much. And you are driving in the taxi? <coughs> yes, we're going to a summit somewhere in Blomfontein. If you're going to come, you can come. Mm -hmm. okay. Thank you so much, guys. <laughs> Couldn't breathe life into clay And only one can cry and rain <laughs> Mom is waiting for a blue-eyed son to exit from that gate. We phoned him, we told him that the guy with the uh, parcel is parked here at this pink house. Video that I borrowed from TikTok of the Suzuki Jimny uh, rally in Clarence. Clarence is in the Maluti Mountains in South Africa. 786 Suzuki Jimnys, which is a world Guinness record for the most vehicles together. Look at this video. As I said in the beginning of my video, this is a fun vehicle. Final total, 787, and it therefore gives me great pleasure to officially recognize the new Guinness World Records title. And we are on our way to Cape Town. But in the, in the screen you can see that the Africa Twin, that adventure bike. I hope you have uh, watched the uh, YouTube videos on our Karua tu uh, Tour, huh? uh, Father and Son Karua Tour. Um, there is seven videos in total. There he is. Shouts Uber. <laughs> Six thirty. I'm back. This uh, car is full, tires checked, <coughs> and the reason why I had to do it this morning. <coughs> Normally, I'm uh, the previous day, I've done it already. We choose to take this car. This is the Chrysler SRT8, the 6.4 liter. And uh, of course, that's a, that's a car. But the, the Cape, the Western Cape, had so much rain and storms in the last week, two weeks. We, we expect, we can also read on the social media that uh, many of the ma major way, highways, major roads has been ser severely damaged. And then of course we had the other choice <clears throat> and that's this one. My old workhorse, the Mazda. But this car is not for social trips. This car is a workhorse. Towing my caravan. Don't, don't forget. November to middle of December, we're going on safari in the summer. Then we use that, that workhorse and the caravan. 
don't miss, miss those videos. Let's get going. It is quarter to seven. Our plan was seven o'clock. Let me show you um, some uh, information here on the dash. There it's 8.7 kilometers away from home and it's now 6.58. That's the total kilometers on this vehicle. 9975, 9975. Now let me change over to fuel consumption because that will be the important. That's the average now, 10.1 kilometer per liter. The range is 336 kilometers. Interesting morning it is so far. It is uh, five minutes past nine. As we was entering Benoni, that's the the start of the city Gauteng uh, uh, metropole. The traffic was completely still stand. As you can see, we drive here through the countryside around Johannesburg. This is costing us an hour on time. Let's look at the information. 10.35, it's three and a half hours on the road. And the fuel indication is 12 kilometers per liter. Now we'll check here, we'll fill up uh, at uh, Kronstadt and then we can confirm. And the distance traveled is 318 uh, kilometers. And there's the owner of this car. Hello, but look. Look at the luggage here at the back. Can you believe it? And only one bag is mine. Alright, we stopped at Kronstadt. As you can see, it's uh, 1 minute to 11. There at the bottom is the total distance. 352.4 kilometers to Kronstadt. Let's look at the fuel pump. Johannes, Johannes Masele. From where are Johannes? He's from Kronstadt. Where is he from Kronstadt? It is a video. It's on YouTube. Yeah, I'm here. I'm going to see how much petrol for you. Okay, I'm here. I'm here. Okay. All right, that's the first confirmation of the Jimny, Suzuki Jimny that we are using for our trip down to Cape Town. But we're taking the long route. Nearly 1,900 kilometers is our final destination. Right, it's filling. It's uh, 380, 15.7. For that's it. Let's see. Let's see. Wait, 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 wait. Come, come, come. Say good morning to us. Good morning, guys. Yeah. This is a YouTube channel. Hi guys, how are you? I'm, I'm with my good people here. Yeah. We're trying to have a lot of fun and I love them so much. So hi. Hey and guys. she's talking a lot. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm very nice at talking, that's why they love me so much. And you are driving in a taxi? <coughs> yes, we're going to a summit somewhere in Blomfetting. If you're going to come, you can come. Mm -hmm. okay. <laughs> Thank you so much, guys. <laughs> Alright, you saw that lady, a friendly that lady. And Johannes, what is the... 755 yes. and the liters 30.8 30.80 30.80 oh, we yes. did not cheat the yeah. chassis is 24.54 but we did not cheat huh? this is th this is true yes 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 and there is some uh, salt leaking the salt for the uh, minerals and here you can also see some minerals. Beerslack, Ruma White. Beautiful, beautiful. And this is where we are parked. The chimney, right. Let's go. Look here, look here. Look at all these soul transporters. Huh? This guy is doing transporting. So what do you say about the real fuel consumption of 11.4 kilometers to a liter on a 1500cc engine? 
you thought this uh, chimney is uh, fuel efficient wake up smell the roses and that is a speed of as you could see in my timing and calculation average speed less than 100 kilometers the maximum was 121 cruising between 115 or around 115 between 110 and 120 uh, loaded but not heavily loaded let's check the next fill up flat area free free state a slight breeze from uh, from the rear we'll talk again 10 minutes ago we stopped here in Bloemfontein at this uh, engine uh, bloom stop number one or whatever they call it we first had our lunch our homemade lunch now I'm gonna fill up with fuel let's see the fuel let me grab my other camera and show you there's madam well for the past uh, how many kilometers let me first check it shows 11.8 kilometers to a liter the uh, past 204 kilos it shows 11.8 what we've learned that's a lie let's see now and what is your name sir it's Nelson sir Nelson yes sir. you must smile huh? this is YouTube oh, okay <laughs> I can see that <laughs> I want to see how much fuel do you fill up okay sir. the people don't try uh, believe me okay <laughs> is it full yeah it's full full it's full full right <laughs> so how many let's see uh, okay now from this side 437 rand 17.5 17.5 liters yes i will do the calculation now thank you so what is your take on uh, the fuel consumption of this um, suzuki chimney can you remember the indication showed 11.8 kilometers to a liter that is from home this morning on 570 kilometers that's when we filled up the second time here in Bloemfontein. And that uh, equates to 8.3 uh, liters to 100 kilometer. Well, this is the free state. As you can see, flat. No mountains up to now. Let's go back to our fuel consumption. That indication is now 11.8 kilometers to a liter. And at the fuel pump, the actual was 11.4. That's now the average for the morning. 11.4, 11.5 kilometers to a liter. A 1500cc, barely weighing a ton. And you want to buy a Jimny for f because of its fuel economy? <laughs> you must be crazy. <laughs> you want to even worse you want to buy a Jimny look in the Jimny forum and the Jimny Facebook uh, social media how many Jimny uh, wannabes want to buy a Jimny and tow a caravan tow a trailer off-road trailer or whatever you want well we are uh, 80 kilometers away from um, Colesburg beautiful area the grassy fields have this, the hills. It's really a beautiful road, this N1 highway. This Orange River is the um, biggest river in South Africa. And the lake, or the Gharib Lake, is on our left hand side. This Orange River is um, uh, going through the uh, Ograbis, Ograbis water uh, falls. The other interesting part of the uh, Orange River, it's also forming the border between Namibia and South Africa. This is now in the north western part of South Africa and it eventually ends up in the uh, uh, Atlantic Ocean. Alright, and this is the North Cup. This is also the uh, regional border for the Orange Free State and the Northern Cape. Yeah, the river is quite uh, full, huh? Beautiful. 
so why are we driving this is a fun vehicle for sure for sure but if you want to buy a vehicle for fuel economy this is the wrong choice okay if you want to buy a, a small 4x4 at a affordable price well if 400,000 Rand is affordable for uh, poor fuel consumption that's your decision it still remains a fun vehicle so if you want a tour if you want to tow a caravan or a trailer this is not the vehicle for you if you have a family with more than two people two of us this is not the vehicle for you if you want to buy it for a run around in the city and town and um, trips like we are doing now knowing it will be slow knowing it will be bumpy <laughs> any short wheelbase is a bumpy vehicle we're enjoying it but that's the real facts from the horse's mouth anyone that uh, that lived here in the past that knew Colesburg I will not blame you if you uh, burst out in tears this is becoming a mess thank you Karen yeah. but we're running out of time we are an hour and a half delayed uh, so far and it's uh, what's the time 2 30 with a chimney you cannot catch up time you have lost you have lost uh, my cruising speed is 115 115 kilometers an hour another car you can steal a little bit of speed you can push it to 130 128 and you can catch up <laughs> you cannot catch up with the chimney something important a man will lie through his teeth about three things in life three the first one is his sex life he will lie he's the big best lover he's the this he's the that he's the mr. so big lie the second big lie that is his salary he will lie about his salary and he will tell you how important he is and 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 and, and the bonuses and and that's lie number two <laughs> and then the third lie that's the best one the car that is driving that is owing fuel consumption he will lie and he will swear by it you know in Arabic they say Wallahi Wallahi means I swear He lie This is the actual fuel consumption And that's on the flat area Wait until we see the, uh, reach the mountains <laughs> Enjoy Let me turn the camera around and show you the Karoo We've been in the Karoo now, um, I would say nearly 400 kilometers. Five minutes to six. And this is called a stop and go here in South Africa. Aha, there's the blue chimney here in the Karoo. And this is all the vehicles. o'clock and the sun is um, just about to set anytime another 10 15 minutes my daughter does not want to give her any money to lorries right that is the end of the, today's video I will combine tomorrow's video to have one video in any case good morning and this is the second day on the way to Cape Town drinking coffee 
And this is where we stayed. That's uh, emergency overnight that we could find last night. We were 150 kilometers short of our planned over uh, uh, night stay. In any case, we enjoyed the sleep, it was well. Yeah, it's a rustic place, but we love places like this. Love to support the local business. The beautiful Karoo. Well, this is very close to Beaufort West. In the, um, it's called the Groot Karoo. The, the big Karoo. It's Friday morning, so all your Jimny guys, you see where I'm driving? The left hand or the left side wheels is uh, in the yellow line in the uh, shoulder of the road and the whole reason for that is this is where the trucks is not uh, driving uh, with the short wheel base if you drive here a lot of bumps because of the road condition so if you drive on this side it's not because of the speed I can maintain and I'm doing 150 now if you drive here you have at least two wheels on the, on a, a smooth surface. We are at the roadblock at, uh, as we enter um, over this. Morning. Morning. Good thank you. Will you my petrol card or my credit card? Credit card. Yeah. <laughs> of my Saudi bestieders license or my South African license. South African. Can we have a bit of vacancy? Yes, it's going to be a vacation. It's going to be our money in your area. And you can have one day to have it. Yeah, yeah, as you know, hard work can you. Thank you. I'll say, thank you. 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 Thank you want to check what? Can you take me along? Oh, you want to go along? Yeah, there's a lot of room. <laughs> <laughs> Can I just have your initials and say anything, so please? Hi, right, because the police is looking for me. I'm going to give you... My name is B.B. Sekama. Sekama. Nail, man. I want to write it down. I took it from you. But don't give to the police my name, huh? No, we're not, sir. Oh, <laughs> looking for me. I'll, 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 I'll technically scratch it. Sia <laughs> bonga. <laughs> Beaufort West, we had our brunch here. No, it's, it's uh, still a breakfast, it's 9 o'clock. And there's a 304.1 kilometer. Let's see what is the fuel. And this is the last time I will measure fuel. And that's the final, 27.5. Okay, 27.46. Leave the nodig in the wereld. What gaan we win? What gaan we win? I say, oh, there's more leave the nodig in the wereld. I extend some. You can see now on the video, it was 303 kilometers, 27 liters. That is 11 kilometers to a liter. Well, in my video yesterday, <laughs> I already referred to, I expect some severe reaction on this uh, chimney and on the fuel consumption. Already this morning at the fuel station at Beaufort West. This guy's coming, walking up to us and the first question is, what is your fuel consumption? And I was truthful. Nyanis Kupela, like the black people say, I swear, Nyanis Kupela. I told him, 11.3, 11.4 kilometers to a liter. And he said, that's not possible. He has friends that's getting 14 and 15 kilometers to a liter. Really? Look at the flowers. We're waiting for the train. Not really. We turned off from the N1. We are fed up with this highway. And this is where we are parked. Look at the beautiful flowers here. Let me zoom in a little bit. Look in front. The yellow. The pink purple there at the back. And then look there just before that mountain. Wow, beautiful, huh? It's amazing that our government do not have the business sense, or is it common sense, to get the railway going again. There is thousands, 
thousands of these uh, 18 wheelers those heavy haulers trucks on these main roads is it because they have a vested interest are they owners of these truck businesses look at the left hand top uh, corner of this um, video screen all the solar panels there we have now entered this um, valley beautiful area from here it's great but wine farming look at this beautiful Hex River Valley welcome to Africa in 1994 we were 32 or 34 million people it's uh, 2023 and we are 60 million most probably 15 18 20 million from Africa I'm gonna show you a trick how to indicate uh, and, and take a picture and show on me, social media that the Suzuki Jimny is doing 14 to 15 kilometers to a liter let me show you you can't fool everyone all the time you find a downhill like this all right and then you get up to speed whichever speed you want and there you can see it indicates 11.7 kilometers to a liter then you reset it now you wait for it because it's downhill your car is not using a lot of uh, fuel or a lot of power and uh, it will take a minute and then it will reset Voila, and there it shows 26.9 kilometers now you can keep it there and you can drive a little bit give it a bit, a bit of fuel it's coming down to 16.8 and you keep your camera ready your mobile phone so when it reach the chimney guys when it reach 14 now you take a picture and you distribute that on youtube and on facebook and on social media <laughs> and you want us to believe you i enjoy those jokes man look at my white hair and you want to bullshit me with your facebook uh, pictures Wake up and smell the roses. I said to you earlier on the Hex River Valley. We are 130 kilometers away from Cape Town. And you look at the mountains all around us. Um, as we are driving down, I will show you this beautiful Hex River Valley. This is now the start of the uh, fruit uh, season. Uh, this is the winter rain uh, fall area. Look on the left hand side, all this uh, grape from January to April. This is a this is a uh, heaven to have holiday. Best weather January and February is quite warm, hot and warm, but uh, March and April, then you see thousands, million to million visitors from overseas. And here's the Detois Kloof uh, cellar winery. Beautiful, huh? My uh, friend, my wife here. This is her favorite place. And this is the Detois Kloof winery. It's a Friday afternoon, of course. Everyone's rather going home, but weekends. You have to book here to find a place. Let me turn around. This is where we're going to drink a coffee now. And we bought the wine and we bought the uh, rusks. Your Europeans do not understand what's rusks. And we bought coffee and we bought uh, takeaway pizza. And this is the beautiful shop. Well, we left the toys through of uh, winery and celery. Well, not celery, cellar. And we're on our way to Zoomers at Best now. And according to the GPS, I want to go this drive. But look at the beautiful mountains. Hygenote Tunnel. I do not know the length. I will study it and I'll uh, update you. I think none in Africa have got toll roads. I don't think there's one single one. Only South Africa. It's worth it. You pay the money for beautiful roads, safe roads. It is worth it. Yeah. Cape Town is not the most southern point of the African continent. Cape Town is the most southern city the most southern point of uh, uh, the African continent, Cape Lagalas. City of Stellenbosch. 
world well-known university a beautiful city the capital of the African Mafia right the final update and let us uh, close this video our second day trip down to Cape Town 1642 kilometers from home and another 10 then we are there our son's birthday tomorrow what is his age? 38 38 years old remember we are 47 years married he doesn't know that we are that we drove down to Cape Town we hope you will have a, a big surprise on the left hand side here is the strawberry farms and uh, over weekends this is uh, a crazy place they get a basket they go out and they uh, they pick their own strawberries right that's mom mom is waiting for a blue eye son to exit from that gate we phoned him we told him that the guy with the uh, parcel is parked here at this pink house so he will come out now come on Percy where are you we are all waiting we want to see your face right the gate is opening there he is <laughs> he only shouts Uber. <laughs> ah, shame. <laughs> ah, praise God. Praise God that we uh, arrived here safely. Right. 